Welcome back to another episode of my Cryptopia playthrough. Uh, today I'm going to try to finish up one of my last few uh, bosses in the aim for a higher goal. Uh, so I'm at the Cherry Blossom Island. I, I wasn't sure if the one that uh, Bell the Floor that's uh, Bell Floor that uh, spawned on the Cherry Blossom Island would count. But I think as long as she's over level 100, um, it counts. And I'm pretty sure that once you get to level 7 island, the bell uh, floor that spawns here is over level 100. So we're going to go find the one that spawns out here. Um, I've showed, uh, uh, done a tour of this island, the Cherry Blossom Island. I've shown the area that I'm talking about. This is a real good I, I, you know, spot to get resources especially early in the game because there's some good um, healing and life uh, wood that you can get uh, from this big tree out here but any of the trees really do it but there's a tree out here that especially is good for it um, this area right here and after you wait uh, for a little while uh, Belle Flora will spawn in this area but I'm actually going to spawn her early just clearing out some of these uh, lesser baddies, get them out of the way. Although skeletons are pretty useless, so usually they don't cause me too many problems. But being night, they'll probably spawn several times. Kind of dissolving. He looks like he's well over level 100 to me. And this is the tree I was talking about. Um, there's a chest here. And then if you cut down that tree, it gives you some really good resources with some good enchants. And it take it, you have to hit it a lot of times to finally knock it down. So it gives you a lot of resources. And I've got to just remove these. I've got a bunch of those that I've already offered. And there is a max limit on things you can offer. Um, once you max out all your levels, then it just won't let you offer them anymore. All right, so here we go. The nearest flower, flower, however you want to say it. She is a flower, but I call her flower. And it's a mill bill. Try a little meteor storm. That wasn't very effective, and I'm almost dead. Not properly buffed for this battle. And she's got the confusion on me, which is awesome. Ugh, I am horrible right now. Just absolutely horrible. It looks like steam's coming off her head. I don't think I've ever noticed that. I don't know if that was something I hit her with that was affecting that. There we go. There we go, get her frozen. Elsa and Anna would be proud of you. It's a little dad joke for those that have little kids. Ooh, man, those things zap some major hell from you. She can be quite formidable if you don't bump properly. She gets you with the, the daze and confused spell. Ooh, there we go. That was a nice crit. Wow, that did a lot of damage. You can see where I started, where this is at on the map. Basically, it's just a big ring of cherry blossom trees. I 
going to offer some of these seeds. I don't need seeds anymore. Um, you watched some of my earlier ones. I showed you how to do the farming and get up to the peach seeds. So once you get to peach seeds, you really don't need any lower seeds unless you just got some missions or something in particular you're trying to craft. Might want some sugar cane. Sugar canes, um, I think maybe for bioplastic you need sugar cane. I'm not sure. There we go. Doing some damage now, now that I probably buffed. She's stuck in time. I'm not sure what she just did. Did she just dance over the top of me? What it kind of felt like. Get a little dose of your own poison. She probably has poison resistance though, if I had to guess. Ooh. Oh, those were thousands. I thought I was hitting 20,000. I was a little excited, dude. There we go. Four, four thousand, four thousand. Get, get a little bit of everything going and zap her up. Once again, buff before you spawn. Keep forgetting that. I am doing very little damage right now. There, I must have not have been hitting her in the head. Or wherever her weak spot is. If, if you've never seen it, uh, I highly recommend you watch it on YouTube or Facebook Watch. Um, if you've never heard of them, it's called Viva La Dirt League. And they do uh, parodies for video games. And their big one is NPC Man. And they always do, uh, they do a hilarious sketch about the obvious enemy weak spot. Now, every time I fight the Hydra, I always think about that. It's like it's an obvious weak spot that he has this big gem on his chest, and that is his weak spot. Most of the bosses is just if you get a headshot, that's it. But um, I, was, I love those guys. If you ever get bored and want to watch something funny it's related to video games, go check out Viva La Dirt League. Gotta get my mana back up. About to go up a level, so get me a freebie here in a second. I did skip um, a lot. I fought a ton of different bosses just trying to find an executioner and was not having much luck. There you go. I was getting some good hits there, but not criticals. All right, we're halfway there. Yeah, I, I went at dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. Um, just have not had good luck. That's why I kind of skipped over and decided to come after her because I knew she spawned out here and it should give me credit for it. So that's why I'm here now. Um, once I beat her, the Executioner is the only one I have left on my list. So hopefully I will find... A dungeon with him in it soon enough. Man, there's some awesome crits. That was quick. Wish they could all go that quick. I'm really debating on whether I want to try to do another hell playthrough. Um, 
I don't know if you've ever done Hell Mode playthrough, but it is insanely hard. Uh, like, I don't know. It, it's it's crazy. It's like ten times Dark Souls hard. I mean, you literally do no damage even on the island of the beginner. So I, I'm debating on whether I'm going to try or what I'm going to do um, next. Because this is this series pretty much is wrapping up. Uh, they did release the Boss Rush Dungeon. So I'm going to do some episodes on that. And I will probably cover some of the up, more updates. I did a few a while ago when it came out on Steam. Um, but now that it's on Xbox and everybody has it, I may go ahead and try to do some more thorough things on the Boss Rush Dungeon update. Let's go, let's go, come on. I'm not hitting her in the head, it's hard to tell. There we go. Ooh, 8,000, all right, two more to go. But yeah, I'm creeping close to level 60, so kind of getting in that area of it's just time to mess around. Um, there's really nothing left as far as the beginners go, so I may cover some of the things that I haven't. I still haven't covered refining. Um, I need to do that, which is shocking that I'm going to make it to level 60 without refining a single weapon. I don't think I've ever done that in a playthrough. I've got two other playthroughs. Um, I've got an attack build, another magic build that I've done all the way up to level 60 in. Uh, I've always refined weapons so that I can get max damage. And this is probably the first time I haven't. But probably because of what I've learned doing those other playthroughs, I've learned the chance of learning some of the shortcuts that I don't really need it. Um, it would definitely help. It would make these all go faster because I would literally just blast through these. If I had a Kai 99 Lorelei, this would not even be a fair fight. And I don't even have like full, like I, I need Dark Rosary, so I need to go after Sandworm. Um, get the Dark Rosary bl Blueprint. All right, so I'm gonna show you some of the enchants. So there you go, Spring Demons. Spring Breeze, I think there's a Spring Fairy that can be enchanted on this too. Yeah, the purple ones are really good life enchants. Um, they give you extra life, increase your max life. Do, let's see what it does here. Yeah, so max life, max life percent, max mana, max mana percent. Um, does knock down your critical chance, so that's kind of the trade-off. Um, but early in the game, you may not need that. So this is really good for early in the game where you're just trying to get a lot of life and stay alive. And it may be good for a hell playthrough. Um, I don't know. I think for a hell playthrough, you really just have to increase your damage as much as possible. I'm going to go over and check out and see what these NPCs have going. Mm, nothing good there. Give me a slate of growth. Always talk to Fergus when you can. Warrior Thorkel. What do you need? Three black gunpowder, yeah. For bouncers, which would mean I would need a gunner. Yeah, and then let's see, he's got some sauerkraut. And more sauerkraut, so nothing really good there. Um, don't see any other NPCs. So I guess we can look at for some dungeons here. Turn that one in, that gives me another skill point. So I get a skill point from leveling up and a skill point for completing aim for higher goal two. Yeah. 
This island is annoying with the bees and the faux cheeks. Chicks, faux chicks. They just come out of nowhere and start attacking you. Alright, so we're gonna fly around. That's not a dungeon there, it's a trial. pretty cool that that big tree down there looks like it's got a big eyeball on it because there's a bee or something maybe a faux chick there's something in it that's got the little aurora on it and it's making the entire tree light up like it's a big eyeball it's the bell fleur eye of sauron maybe i don't know the eye of fleur It looks pretty crazy though. There's a royal tomb. Yeah. Royal tomb's not. I, I just don't think executioners spawn in royal tombs. I could be wrong, but usually it's a gunner and a griffin. I'm not sure why it's just those two, but that seems to be the two that you always get. There is a, another place that a dungeon can spawn over here. This island is a really cool island. I, I think they did a really great job um, of building this island. It, it's definitely, you can see their Japanese, you know, their Japanese company, so they've got the Japanese influence with the Cherry Blossom Island. I wonder if it's based on a real island somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, it's got a really cool design. I love to see how they incorporate this in the seamless. I, I'm really hoping the seamless map isn't just all of the tiny islands chained together and then you have to have a boat or something to go between island to island. I mean, to me, that would seem like a, the cheesy way to get out. But And based on some of their recent uh, updates, it probably isn't going to be like that. But... I, I have concerns, um, but I, I do hope they keep these island designs. Some of them are really cool. The island of the cove, I like the island design of that. Um, you know, they're all really well thought out islands. It's just, you know, they're kind of tiny. They've all got their own cool little features. I don't know if you just saw me swim inside that waterfall. You know, opening chests to get enchantment points while I'm messing around here. There we go. Just gathering enchantment points while I prepare for the boss rush dungeon. Because uh, when I get enchanting scrolls, and that way I can use those enchantment points to force enchant three. Oh, there's a. It's a reckless while rotating saw. He's so cool. He can't shoot straight. It's like a stormtrooper trying to shoot me. He doesn't have an obvious weak spot though. He's just sitting there taking it. You think he'd get closer instead of just trying to fire that laser beam at me. Oh, there he goes. He got closer to me now.
That seems to do more damage. Freezing Ray didn't do much to him. Maybe his tank on his back is his weak spot. Drop some really good materials. If you ever see one of those in the wild. Batteries, crude oil. I mean, crude oil you can only get um, through gotcha material drops, which is rare, or uh, build an oil plant, which takes forever. And when I say forever, it took me forever to do it. If you got multiplayer and got some friends that gather resources, it might be a little faster. And another trial. What kind of trial is this? Pull the pin and I don't want to do that. Bargain armor parts. Well, this island besides the Bell Fleur was kind of a dud. Go fight this Cyclops, maybe? Oh no, I'm gonna get the. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll go here, see what's on this island. Um, I don't think I've been on this one. Nope, it doesn't look like I've been to this one before. So the bonus of here is I can farm Fafner too if I need to, if I find an executioner in here. saving the gammon teens since I've got the lore lie the gammon teens are pretty much uh, useless don't need any of this stuff so I'm just gonna offer I mean, who wouldn't sit, eat a cheeseburger that's been sitting in a dungeon for hundreds of years, thousands of years? I really wish this game had a little bit of a story to it. It does kind of at the beginning, you know, this... You push a button, you blow up the world, and you're starting it back over, but I mean that's it. Like they I don't know. They could have done something a little bit more.
Sorry for you, Mr. Shaman. Goblin warrior. Two upgrades ready for Slater Grove. Mm, there's boxes. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Boxes can usually mean two things. Usually it's Tyrant Snake or a floor. A floor. And it kind of looks like it's a Tyrant Snake. Oh, man. I can't tell you how many dungeons I've been through that's had a tyrant snake in it. At least he went fast and gives me plenty of experience. So it's not a total waste. So I think I'm at level 59 is where my cap's at. I don't even care. The fangs are pretty much useless to me right now. But I'll take the slate of growth, so that means I can get more health or mana or whatever else I choose to get. Palladium, don't care about. Used to be I'd pick up everything. I was so giving up on that. Like if I go back to my other worlds, I have so much stuff, it's crazy. Sometimes it, it bites me in the butt in this game, because then I'm like, oh, probably needed that. But Hey, there's a Pokemon. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to finish this up here and uh, go after this Pokemon. But I believe I'm going to end this episode now. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, drop a comment. Oh, this girl's going to get me. <laughs> They're teaming up on me. Um, drop a comment. If you got anything you want to see me cover, drop a comment. Um, you know, just let me know if there's something that I haven't covered. And uh, if you're not a subscriber and you like what we're doing, like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.